Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a, uh, another Let's Play. Uh, today's episode number six of Stellaris. Uh, this is the post timeline uh, patch, and let's jump right into it. Uh, now, last episode, uh, we've got a couple new colonies uh, planted. Uh, we've got had a uh, species. Uh, atomic Age species enlightened and vassalized. Uh, they're sharing a system with uh, with us, with Muglar. Uh, we colonized, uh, I think it was Lyrum. Yeah, Lyrum was the most recent one. Uh, we co colonized Lyrum and uh, Yelbarasta. Uh, Yelbarasta was a nice 25 size world. Um, that had a Stone Age primitives that we decided to enslave rather than lose any land area of this huge, beautiful 25 place world. So we've got a couple enslaved populations here. And, um, uh, generates unhappiness for all individualist pops on the planet. Well, we are not individuals, so that should not generate any unhappiness for us. Right now, I've got them allowed to populate. Um, we'll have to see if I'm going to keep the uh, slaves to um, appropriate. I mean, I'll have to wait and see if I'm going to allow that to continue. I'm not sure. Uh, we did have a food crunch on a couple of our planets, so we've got that taken care of. Uh, we found a couple very nice uh, scientific worlds. Uh, we've got, obviously, um, um, this one was already in. Uh, Bulgaro was already uh, just waiting to get in our borders. We've also got a nice size 10 or science 10 system up here. We're waiting for our borders to expand up there so we can uh, capture that. I might, if it looks like there we're in danger of losing it, I might throw a frontier outpost up out here um, so we can get that in our borders. But for now, I'm going to hold off on that. Um, and it looks like uh, we've got a new system. Uh, our, our, we're pushing the borders back a little bit. We've got to open. Oh, oh, Upsych in our in our realm now, so we can actually go investigate that system. Uh, nothing else in danger of falling or really just switching, uh, flip flopping into the various uh, realms that we're boring here. Uh, so let's go ahead and unpause it. Now I still don't have a fleet to speak of. I still don't have but one or two techs, uh, ship techs uh, researched. Uh, we've got deflectors, we've got some engines and sensors. I have no weapons yet. I've had no weapons to research, so a uh, bit of a worry. Uh, now we've got a new science ship uh, commission because uh, we had a uh, event-driven ship destruction in the last episode too, so we've got a brand new level science, level one scientist on Horsham on the uh, science ship that is out investigating in the uh, galactic northwest of us. You can see where we are in the galactic map. This is a huge 5,000 star system map with a one fallen empire to our lower left. We've got a, an advanced AI to our immediate east and then a few smaller uh, normal uh, AI races as well. Uh, nobody likes us except for uh, theoretically the fallen empire uh, can we can communicate. I don't think there's any trade deals we can do. Yeah, we can't give them anything. Um, let's take a quick look at opinions. Um, so the Hazar mandate, which is, isn't that the one directly? Oh, that's those guys. They're actually close to uh, not disliking us completely. We're going to lose the new contact um, penalty, so we'll be down to a minus 14. They still don't like our purge rights, our voting rights, our slavery, our border friction. Uh, um, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything here. Let's see. Defensive pact, non-aggression pact, uh, migration treaty, closed borders, nationalization, insult, Guarantee independence. I don't want to do that because the most likely one to attack them would be that uh, advanced AI over there, and I'm not ready to deal with them. Let's see, trade deal, research agreement. Huh. Really? Okay. 
okay, nope, nothing we can do. We're not going to bother with them. If they don't want to talk to us, we don't want to talk to them for now. Uh, we will just continue to press on and hopefully um, grab ourselves a bit of an advantage. Now, we can take a look at how we compare it to the, uh, these System other races. System survey complete. Turn Fallen Empire. Let's just turn everybody off. And we compare with that, that particular race. Oh, okay, there we go. We got some rivalries. Um, their fleet power is superior equivalent to everywhere else. The advanced AI obviously superior in all areas. In fact, everybody is probably going to be um, uh, superior in fleet power. Well, there's an equivalent across the board. Superior fleet, superior fleet, and of course this is our vassal, uh, which we just uplifted, so we expect to be slightly ahead of them. Uh, Horsham system complete survey. There's some metal up there at least. Let's go out to the west. No, let's go to the north. Because I'm expecting something... Well, you know what? This is kind of a closed loop here. If there is anything, it might be up here. We should see some uh, signs of it at some point. Now, I have not seen any opposition ships yet, so I have no idea what kind of ships and, and weapons and drives we're up against in, uh, in our nearby systems. Now, uh, we do have a very nice Construction Gaia complete. world out here. But if you look closely, it is uh, a holy world uh, considered uh, sacred by a nearby fallen empire. So we cannot touch that because that's these guys here. Uh, construction completed. Mining station. Okay, so that gives us plus 34 in minerals. Let's send the construction ship out here and queue up some more. Let's get all of these. Yeah, might as well get that one while we're at it. <laughs> get the energy. Okay, so that'll be uh, the construction ship tied up for a while. Get some more mineral income going. Up a chunk of the uh, ready supply of minerals that we have, but really until we uh, unemployed pops um, in the home world. Um, well, let's do something with that. Um, ooh, what's this? Grand Mausoleum Ethics Divergence minus 20. Now we already have an Ethics Divergence uh, bonus that would improve it. You know, well, let's do it. We got the minerals, we got the minerals. Uh, we got the influence. It takes some time, that's fine. Cool. Why not? I don't know if that's a empire wide or, or, or how that works. I think that's probably empire wide ethics divergence. I'm guessing. Uh, I've never seen it before. I'm guessing it's new to the timeline patch. Three of our ships are busy. Oh, we've got a malcontent slave faction. Okay, let's take a look at factions. Um, interst uh, effects interstellar railroad support effect, <laughs> as opposed to the underground railroad, the interstellar railroad. Slaves organized to smuggle several enslaved pops out of our empire. Slave riots, slave revolt. Managed System survey faction. complete. Okay. Anomaly uh, found. We have an anomaly, uh, Fatal Risk Zero. This is uh, the original science, uh, the, our, our second science ship. So we have a level four res uh, researcher there. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, there's three supporters of that pop. I don't want to suppress them. Action support 10%, chance to gain 10% per month is one. Okay. Not going to worry about them yet. We'll have to see what options are available to us here when um, an option comes up. Um, let's see. Nothing really found. 
the anomaly there. We can't go to cure him, so we'll go out to... Uh, Oh, we got a uh, scientist level up. That'll be our new scientist on the uh, new science ship. Fleet captain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, lost in space. The signal we intercepted was a distress call from a ship in orbit around Karazit 5. The ship was not giving away any heat signatures and appears to be drifting. A special project has been issued to investigate. Situation um, log updated. Let's take a look and see if we can afford it. Uh, we are still a year, five years out from uh, physics, uh, 18 months out from swamp removal, and two years out from the mineral processing. Um, oh, it's only going to take 20 days? Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. It's also the salvage gas giant ship back a couple of uh, systems to go um we might be actually go back and do that as well um, and crystalline entity observation as soon as we complete the uh physics research which is going to be a while we we need some extra uh, a boost to our physics research i think let's take a look do we have a uh, special project complete yes let's build Okay, having searched the ship and inspected the crew's remains, science officer Tetra has deduced that the crew members must have killed each other. The solitude and confinement of space travel can break even the strongest of minds. Okay, well, that didn't help. Let's uh, build a physics... Whoops. Basic science lab. What the hell? Uh, we are receiving a distress signal from the... Falafir of the Valiant. The crew has gone mad and are killing each other. Captain has lost all control. Sending help would be futile at this point. Could this have anything to do with the derelict ship? <laughs> okay. Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek, the original series, episode two, was it? Something like that, where the, the, where the, the System crew survey. was uh, investigating a planet in, that, that had a sun-going supernova, and uh, the next generation had a re replay of that one, and Wesley Crusher took over the ship. Yeah. Well, there goes our second science ship lost by event. Okay, this is not fun. This has suddenly become not fun. Ah. Uh. Now let's build another science ship. Dang. Well, shoot. <laughs> well. Population starting to grow. What am I going to do about that? Still, it's uh, one percent growth, one percent of ten percent chance of growth. Construction complete. I need to do something to. Um... Oh, so, okay. That was the um, uh, spa uh, mineral spaceport. There is our new science ship. Let's get a new leader. I'm gonna spend all of our uh, all of our um, influence on new leaders for our science ships. Okay, since we're here nearby, let's go ahead and take that. Oh, that is not in our area, uh, area of influence. Okay. Um, what the hell? Science ship. Oh, I didn't assign the leader. That's, I keep doing that. Maybe it is in our area. Come on, go away. Yeah, we can serve in that area. Okay, let's do that. Okay, um, 
I also need to do something about potential fleet sites, which means uh, another star base. I think once I get above 500 minerals, and since we can't do any weapons yet, I might as well go ahead and start building up the star bases so that I can mass produce ships when we get to the point where we can produce or I'm willing to produce ships. Without uh, any weapons tech yet, I'm not ready to do that. Uh, I did want to look at our other planets and see if there's any uh, research labs we can put down to boost our science output, especially in the physics realm right now. What's going on here? Oh, we need a little bit of influence to uh, upgrade uh, this planet to uh, planetary administration. Yeah, we just ate up all of our influence complete. on uh, leaders. Negative energy mm -hmm. credit balance? Really? Why is that? Um, I bet... Mm -hmm. Happiness, minus 10 minerals, minus 50 in it. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so our unhappy pops are costing us some output here. Hmm. We have a food problem here. We do not, so... At least put you where we can get some energy there. Inactive buildings. Yeah, I know. That's no big deal. I wonder if they're more of a pain than uh, uh, more of a hindrance and a help right now. I might have to purge them. One, two, three, four. We're not quite at five here, but very close to. So two planets we can upgrade to a planetary administration. We don't quite have the influence to do that yet. Need more influence. Um. We've got a uh, put, uh, ocean world down there. Size 20 ocean world. Nice. Uh, it looks like you're done researching, right? You're just sitting there doing nothing. Survey. Don't stop. Don't stop working. Looks like a bit of energy and metals there. So how do we deal with our complete. enslaved population of Stone Age primitives? A survey completed. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data. Okay, so we finally completed the survey in habitable world chain, um, giving us a good chunk of society and energy credits. That's useful. That'll actually take our... Uh, Society uh, swamp removal down to two months, and we can start a new society research. Uh, that malcontent slave faction is going up. We need to do something. Research complete. Support per month is at 9% now. 0.9%. So it's going down. Okay. Uh, there we go. We can clear swamps. Now what is available? Um, we don't need to worry about mountain range removal, I don't think. Uh, resettlement costs and colony development speed. Uh, bio labs. Energy siphon. We're already part way there. Let's go with the bio lab though. Let's get some more science going. Get some more science going. Uh, why is the construction ship not doing anything? Did it build all four of those already? No, it should be doing one more. Why don't you build on all of them? Why aren't you building? We're up to 40 a month in mineral income. Okay, we can go ahead and upgrade this one. No, let's go System to survey this one. complete. Upgrade that to a planetary administration, which will allow us tier two buildings. 
uh, survey complete down here, we've got a size 20 ocean world with uh, high quality minerals. Ooh, it might be worth uh, doing even though it's a 60% world. A little bit of science down there, not much else. Let's see if anybody's moved into uh, Ichion yet. We have another habitable world up here. Ten available. It's got asteroid impacts, which gives a, a uh, mineral boost, but it's not a very good planet overall. Very few um, available minerals and such. see a lot going on between the empires either. There's still a couple um, rival uh, rival announcements. Autocracy and Hazar. That's these two next to each other and that's why we didn't want to guarantee their independence. We do not have the fleet to be System able to survey defend complete. them. Okay, survey complete. Not that one. That one. Uh, mineral, <clears throat> some minerals uh, and energy. Nothing spectacular up there. Um, let's finish out this chain. I'm just going to queue up a couple here. We'll queue up three for each of these survey ships. Okay, um, did we or did we not spend influence to, was that not influence we had to Construction spend to do that? complete. Acute, acute construction for the tile. What's being built that's not... Oh, okay, it's being built right there, okay. Um, the leader has gained a level, that's our new scientist for our new... Uh, um, science ship, the re second replaced science ship. Okay, so... There's nobody in this system right now, but I'm not going to make any claims on it either. Obviously, uh, we don't want to get too close to that uh, advanced player, and we don't want to get involved in a war between those two nations. If I went to war with anybody, it would be um, these guys down here. They have 22% uh, uh, rescue. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take the chance research there. complete oh we got a research done mineral processing okay um that gives us the mineral silo level twos and mineral processing plant as well as mineral storage capacity which isn't a big deal engineering research next um the destroyer <laughs> with still no weapons good grief i need weapons guys um let's go with the engineering facility again science labs we need to build up our science I would like to have gone for the uh, that middle option, actually, uh, for the um, uh, strategic resource, but I just, I need more science right now. Um, and we're at 348. Once we get to 360 again, we'll do another uh, upgrade uh, to Mublar Prime. In the meantime, over here at Geico, you're still building that... Uh, System survey. Oh, no, complete. you're upgrading your science labs. Okay, so you finished... Okay, so let's take a look. We finished the mausoleum. Um, member of the loyalty... No, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go. Um, it's a planet unique, planetary modifier, ethics divergence. So evidently that ethics divergence applies just to the planet. Habitability 100. Income. Governor... No active edicts. Capital world. We can take a look at our demographics here. Sign your are the ABN slaves. 
No, that's not what I'm looking for. Ship designer, expansion planner, species, strategic, factions, leaders, planets, and sectors. Somewhere here you can see your capital, uh, your, your overall edict cost, edict duration. Our air has home in the sky, which is the spaceport build, which is nice actually, and building cost. Our current ruler is mineral output and lifespan. Governing ethics under our fanatic collector of the spiritualists. Um, I don't know where to find what I'm looking for now, which is the overall imperial. There's leaders, factions. It's not under factions, is it? Where your overall ethics divergence resides. Because we also have an ethics divergence based on our uh, racial trait conformist. I'm not sure. There, there used to be a spot where you could see the overall ethics uh, divergence. I don't see it. Okay, I'm not going to press too much on that. So we got a bonus, at least on that planet. A whiff of something. The ISS Asmus. Asmussen the Gracious has recovered an elongated metal box from the surface of Tubrick 4. Clusters of small perforations on five sides lead science officer Hefner to believe it is not a container but some sort of aerosol dispersion device. Initial tests seem to confirm their suspicions as trace aromatics still emanate from the object. A special project has been issued to confirm whether this might be an information carrying device constructed by some alien race communicating primarily through secretion and reception of atmosphere borne chemical compounds, otherwise known as spells. Situation <laughs> log updated. Factory study. It's got some nice minerals in it, but again, probably not something we want to mess with. Um, let's go out that way. Oh, whoa, we're, we've got border access? Really? Or, or open borders with them? Okay, they haven't closed our borders to us. Uh, nothing spectacular. There is a four-point energy planet, which is useful, but again, I'm not going to tangle with that that there that's got no strategic value really for me construction complete construction complete of uh, surface construction here okay we have the uh, planetary administration now which means we can upgrade our farms uh, we're at plus one food right now. We'll go ahead and upgrade at least one of the farms. And... There's more birds on this planet than geckos. Really? One? We only have one pop on this planet? Okay, that's it. Uh, policies and edicts. Uh, for the moment, slow slave procreation is going to be disallowed. We won't be able to change that for a bit. Five pops will get minus five on happiness. No big deal. Can't change it for ten years. That's fine. Got an inactive building. Okay, yeah, because they stopped their appropriation. Okay, no big deal. <clears throat> Let's get some geckos on this planet. I don't want a planet full of birds. Um, and I do want to go back here to Pokemon Prime now. We should be able to upgrade the planetary administration there as well. So it requires 360 influence, but it doesn't spend 360 Construction influence. Okay, complete. that's interesting. Requires 360 to start the planetary administration upgrade. It 
still lacking in science. Um, oops. Okay. That says that it is the end of the episode. I'm going to take it to the end of the year. We will upgrade some mines. And build a... A uh, mineral processing plant which gives uh, produces two minerals and gives a planetary output modifier of 10%. Um, you know, do I want to do it there or do I want to do it adjacent to at least one mineral? I think I'll put it there. I know that's a food source, but we're going to put a mineral processing plant there and give the adjacency bonus for the minerals there. So once we get to the end of the calendar year, oh, we got a hostile fleet. Uh, Ruby's stack. Um, yeah, some big fleets there, and they're evading. Anomaly found. Anomaly found, 15% risk. We'll, we'll do it. Our first our first finds on Tubrick 7 point toward a more interesting discoveries to be made on the surface. Oh, there's a, a habitable planet up there, too. Go ahead and, uh... Oh, what's this? Survey. Oh, wait, that's that. Never mind. That's... That's... Out there to the east. Okay, let's bring them back in over here, then. Uh, scientists gained a level. Once again, that is the scientist, uh, on the, uh, science vessel. And we're researching it. Okay, that is the end of year 24 of this uh, Let's Play Through. Uh, episode 6 is in the books. A uh, little bit of progress, not much there. Have to uh, worry about these slaves here. Uh, I've stopped their reproduction. Maybe that will help slow things down there uh, for that faction. Uh, still unable to build any ships because we still have no weapons worth anything. Uh, we're finishing by lab here shortly, um, and we'll see what comes up next. Uh, once again, thanks for joining, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the the series, and uh, hopefully it will get more exciting, a little bit more exciting. I don't want to get it very exciting yet, but a little bit more exciting here in the next episode or two as we complete our near, near exploration and maybe are able to build some ships and interact with our nearby friends. Thanks for joining, everybody. Gaston R. signing out.